I am so excited about this. This is a huge part of why I wanted this. I know it sounds silly, but we do so many road trips. So it's gonna be nice for the kids in the back. It's not bugging us about their devices. We can control it. There are lots of features separating the Model S and X from the 3 and Y. And one of the biggest, if you've got a family, is the access to second row entertainment. So today we're gonna be installing a rear screen into our Model 3. It's super OEM. It's about a five minute install. This is probably the easiest easiest install that you could do on your vehicle. So let's get going. It has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, climate control features for the rear, as well as things like YouTube and Prime Video and a whole bunch more. This is super plug and play. Um, you can kind of see the original right here. We had the USB, the vents. Um, right here, you still have the same vent. You have the USB plus the USB-C um, and then a nice big screen. So today we're just gonna be popping this off and plugging it in. Like all of our previous installs, the seven inch high def screen was designed specifically for the Model 3 and Y and fits all factory mounting points. So there's no drilling, cutting, or special wiring. And unlike cheaper knockoffs you'll find on the web, this screen is the only one with proper US specs, exclusive to T-Sport line and American company. And they even have an update in the works allowing for Bluetooth headphone access for rear passengers, something even the S and X don't offer. For this part, all you have to do is just pull it off. It's actually like way easier than you think. Um, obviously, that can feel a little intimidating if you haven't done anything like this before. Um, and then these just kind of unplug. Got to pull up my floor mat. Oh, <laughs> all right. You never know what kind of treasures you're going to find underneath the floor mats. So this comes in the kit. I'm just going to use it. Pop this piece off. There we go. Not too bad not too shabby and then this just plugs right back in I believe this one taps into the car's computer it's how it gets all the information so I'm gonna undo this one here that should work there we go we're gonna come up here it's pretty self-explanatory once you get in here you're like all right well I have to hook this in here you know there's only so many places things can go you can see right here, there's this extra little one. This one's not being used because this is the newer style fan. What we've discovered after doing a few of these DIYs is that some of the model early Model 3s have slightly different wiring pieces than the newer ones. So with T-Sport Lane, what they've done is that they have two different options depending on which one actually fits into your car. And that's one of the reasons why I really like T-Sport line for a lot of these mods is because they're US based and if you ever have issues or anything with customer service you can actually call them and they'll walk you through how to do the installs or answer questions where a lot of those Chinese companies they just don't have that same level of customer service. Look at we're on. <laughs> so now we're just going to put this thing back together tuck in the wiring and snap it back in and hide the wires Okay. Just thinking about the vents, making sure that I get the wires really kind of tucked in there because we like our AC here in the south. All right, that's in. All right, so now we just kind of have to like tuck the wires back and just put everything back in together. Okay. Yep. There we go done. I mean, how simple was that? I can't wait to get this home. I'm going to surprise my kids later today. Just like have them sit back here and see if they even notice it. So I'm going to go over some of the functionality of the rear screen. So right here we have our climate controls. You have the air conditioner. Um, you can actually kind of control the fan speed right here. Um, right now it is in Celsius, but there's going to be an update where it will go to Fahrenheit. A few minutes later. Ironically, we just got a software update um, for the temperature to turn it to Fahrenheit while we're here. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. We've got the auto update file on this flash drive. And so it was an empty flash drive. The only thing on here now is the auto update file. And we're going to use the left USB port. So for people at home that do this, do they need to come here to be able to do the update or is it something nope. you send out? Yeah, we could send them the file and update it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Fahrenheit. 
So that, I can promise you, is the only one. Other people have similar products, but nobody will have Fahrenheit or the T-Sport line firmware and have it set up for USA cars like we do. They're even getting some updates to add Bluetooth back here so the kids can listen to their headphones. Um, but going back to the climate control, you can see they can control their seat heaters and then even control the volume right here and play music just from right here. If I go over here, you can see I have access to all of the music, CarPlay, Chrome, YouTube. Check it out, you can watch all my videos. The simplicity of this install honestly makes this by far the easiest Tesla DIY project I've ever tackled. Definitely one to check out if you want some really cool functionality with very little effort to install it. This video isn't sponsored by T-Sportline, but I do get a small commission if you do end up buying one of their products. So be sure to use code KIM30 for $30 off when ordering the rear screen and the toolkit bundle. Just select the screen and toolkit combo link below. If you've missed our previous Model 3 DIYs, T-Sportline is also offering a big bundle discount on the MSX Pro Dash, which like this one was so OEM that it blended perfectly with Tesla's design language. Get almost $200 off off the Pro Dash and rear screen bundle by using code WOWCAM at checkout. That's also linked below. Some of our other mods included the Alpha Rex LED taillights for a brighter, safer, and sportier look, followed by the newer MSX Dash with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and the swivel screen. Most recently, we added the 18-inch Uber Turbine wheel covers with the yellow brake calipers. So I'll add the DIY video playlist for you to check out those projects and be sure that you're subscribed because next up is one of our biggest and probably one of the coolest installs yet. Oh, there we go. I either loosened it or I broke something. This is an older technology. This is an LED projector. So you have LED light source behind each one of these projectors. I installed the brand new AlphaRx LED projector headlights, giving the three a unique performance look with far superior lighting, offering more than 30% brighter headlights than the Tesla stock headlights. All right, if you've made it this far, you probably enjoyed this video, so do drop a like, and we'll catch you guys next time. That is crazy. So, do you notice anything new? Is that ESPN? Wait, can I watch NBA games back here? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know yet. We'll have to play around with that. Try this out. Wait, stop the car. Uh, oh, it says model on the top. And it's like Tesla font. Oh, that's.